welcome to business. My name is Daryl Kwao. Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry, Dr. Steven Amwa, has expressed worry about the consistent increase in the Bank of Ghana's policy rate. According to him, this is impeding the growth of trade and industry since businesses uh, borrow at a higher interest rate. He's therefore urging the Bank of Ghana to reconsider it uh, in controlling inflation. He spoke at the second financial economic seminar held in Accra. CS Financial Economic Seminar, organized by the Financial Economic Institute Africa, focused on the impact of social economic policies on trade and industries in Ghana and developing countries. Ghana's industrial sector has been impacted by current economic challenges, shrinking by 3.2% in its contribution to economic growth in the first quarter of this year. The country continues to depend on imports to the detriment of local industries. Speakers at the seminar urged the government to create an enabling environment for the private sector to expand. Delivering his remarks, Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry, Dr. Steven Amwa, advised the Bank of Ghana to control its policy rate to cushion businesses. When uh, policy rate was around 12.5, interest rate was 15.7, we started increasing uh, interest rate, I mean, we call it inflationary rate target, a uh, monetary policy. And it went as far as policy rate went to almost 30%, and inflation went to about over 40%. So it wasn't addressing it. So when we are trying to deal with some of these issues, the government and other policymakers and decision-making bodies such as Central Bank of Ghana, although to me they are doing so much well, they should sometimes do, they shouldn't depend so much on the global application of some of these models, but we should do specifics because it's very important that tailor-made application of policies rather bring the expected resource of a society or specific community. A lot of the companies in our countries cannot grow organically because there is inadequate of funds. And even the Russian funds that they will get from the banks will always have double-digit interest rate. What it means is that the companies cannot expand enough to employ the, the labor force. Two, the companies cannot produce enough to meet demand. So we'll be forced to import. And once we import, we we'll demand more dollars. And our currency will be weak. President of Ghana Union of Traders Association, Dr. Joseph Obeng, urged government to reduce the cost of taxes to improve compliance by businesses. Our credits are overpriced. And that will, we are not competitive to the rest of the world. This time we do not do business in isolation. We do business with the rest of the world. So if you are formulating a policy in your country and you do not factor what happens in um, your neighboring countries, it means that you are out of competition. And this is exactly what um, we, I was trying to drum home about, that we have to um, 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 make taxes affordable. We, we, we've talked so many times that um, tax to GDP in our neighboring countries is far higher than that of Ghana. Why is this so? It's so because their taxes are uh, fewer and then affordable as well. Ours is so many. So because their taxes are affordable, compliance level in those um, um, countries that we're talking about are so high that have made the tax to GDPs in these countries far higher than that of Ghana. And so it is very important for uh, authorities um, to know, uh, sit down with us again, evaluate things, dissect things, and then make cost of doing business um, very um, attractive here um, in, in this country. The speakers also called for mutual beneficial policies for the benefits of both private and public sector. The annual financial economic seminar is aimed at finding long-term solutions to most of the finance and economic challenges confronting developing economies, including Ghana. And that's your business update. My name is Daryl Kwao. I shall be back with more.